What is up YouTube? This is TTG. Today I have something a bit different for you guys. It is a full box of NSYNC trading cards from the late 90s, early 2000s, which is when this uh, boy band NSYNC was very popular. And I have a whole box of 24 packs of cards to open for you guys from a, uh, I guess, a set of collectible trading cards uh, in the same name as the band, it was a, about the actual band, and uh, I got these really cheaply off eBay, and I thought it would be fun just to maybe open them up and see what was in them, so, uh, yeah, it says here each pack contains five foil cards, one sticker, and one rainbow prism cards in every pack. Let's get into it. Okay. NSYNC trading cards. I have no idea what I am getting into here, but I just knew that they were quite cheap, and uh, I thought I'd give them a go. So, here's the first card we have. I think it's part of the, uh, maybe part of a bigger picture, and wow, these are stuck together, guys. Here is one of the, I think, one of the foil cards, and uh, I don't really know anything about the, uh, the band members that much. Uh, I probably should have looked it up beforehand, but there's uh, that band member. Here's Justin. Uh, I do know. I do know this this band member. It's Justin Timberlake, who is the only one of the band members I do believe that kind of forged a career outside of this boy band. Uh, and there's the uh, same dude from before. <laughs> same dude again. And uh, there we go. Chris. We we'll call him Chris. Uh, that's his name, Christopher Allen Kirkpatrick. And on the back, stuck to this card, is Chaz Chazes. Chaz? I'm going to call him Chaz. Okay, this dude in the uh, foil variant. And uh, Justin and JC. Okay, so it's got a bit about the, uh, the Rainbow Prism card. It's number 10 of 10, as you can see in the corner. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, not terrible quality on these cards, certainly. And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll get on to the next pack. There are 24 packs in this box, as I did mention. And, yeah, so this whole box cost me, shipped, I think, like, $29 or something. Uh, so, yeah, it was not very expensive. And there's Justin. And I'm not sure who that is. These are like the base cards. And Joey Fatone. Number 4 of 10 there. And you guys can pause that and you can see that it... So it must... Yeah, I think this was made in year 2000, it says there. These are, this set was made. And we've got a picture of them all together there. That's pretty cool. Ah, yes, yeah, so it all it all forms together the, the bigger picture, I think. And this one is number one of ten. Okay, so I'll just put them all together there. Just before we continue, it did come with this poster as well. I won't get it out completely, but that's kind of cool that this uh, box, when I bought it, did come with a poster. And, uh, yeah, probably... Yeah, I will be opening the whole box of this. Maybe maybe I'll do this video in a couple of parts, but uh, we'll see. And we have Joey here. We've got the whole band together. And yeah, these cards are quite stuck together. There's another shot of the whole band, and these are like the, the base cards. They're pretty nice cards. You know, I would like the uh, I would like them to have rounded corners. Um, because it, it makes it harder for them to get damaged. As we go through some more of these uh, base cards. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we've got Chris, again, with the blurb, 7 out of 10. And another shot of the band, and of course, trying to make up that whole, that whole picture. And maybe at the end we'll have all of that picture made up. I'm not sure if you're guaranteed to get a whole... Uh, all of the base cards per box. Uh, I don't think it really matters that much as there's not really a secondary market looking for these cards. It's just kind of 
I just opened it because I thought it would be pretty enjoyable just to, to see what you can get in a box of NSYNC trading cards, as we do get uh, James there. Look at that, dude. Jantz Bass. There he is. Number 8 out of 10. And, oh, that's pretty cool. That card in it, by design, that looks pretty decent. Um, I like the more simplistic design, but it is very dated, the way that it looks. You know, it's got that kind of 90s, early 2000s feel, that rippled effect in the back of the card. It's always fun to open any kind of cards for me, and I, you know, I just picked this up, thought it would be an interesting thing to open on this channel. Uh, I do plan to do a lot of... Uh, some more interesting different kind of sets of card openings and uh, here we've got Justin um, hmm. Justin yeah so I was just making sure that this isn't just maybe they're both Justin I'm not entirely sure <laughs> He's changed a lot, Justin Timberlake. Looks very different to in these in these cards. Alright, what else? What's and Jantz Jantz Ians? Jantz Lance. Lance Bass. Okay. I apologize. So uh yeah, these cards are kinda interesting. Sorry I don't know more about them. <laughs> As we do have some more of the base cards here. Um, the quality on these cards, it's not certainly not bad. Uh, they've all got this similar kind of, I'd say, cheaper foil design. That that card is, that's the one, I think that's the same image as on the actual box. And there's Joshua, Shot, uh, Joshua Scott Chashes. And there he is, JC, that's what they're going to call him. And there's another group photo. Okay, how many packs have I been through here? Six. So I think I'll do 12 packs in this video. Um, and then I'll do 12 another time. There is James Lance Bass. Base card. Oh. Two base cards there of the same guy. Yeah, after a while these cards do stick together. We've got Justin there. Kind of a nice effect on that card. And we've got that similar card from before with that really dated design there. Oh, that's a sticker card. I see. So yeah, it says there on the corner, peel. And if you peel that off, that is a sticker card, I, I guess, if you were... A fan of the band, I don't know, you could stick in the wall or something like that. <clears throat> so this is our 8th pack here. And we will do 12 in this video. JC. Um, yeah, so I, I actually... I did try selling some of these packs on, but I'll be honest with you guys, nobody wanted to buy these because they're kind of a, a bit of a cursed product because they're, you know, they're so old as we do get another of those sticker cards with more of the uh, image on the back. They're so old and there's not a, you know, a secondary market, so a market for the single cards, of course, because it's such a random one-off set made by Tops here, uh, just for the purpose of having a set of cards to to sell for this band that, you know, did lose popularity as these guys uh, got older, I guess, new bands, you know, became uh, more popular, so uh, obviously the cards didn't maintain much value, because I guess they were pretty mass-produced as well. So we'll go through some more of these base cards. JC, though, again. Wow, these are really stuck. Joey. Uh, Lance, and another good photo there. Okay. 
three more packs in this video, guys. And then I will do the other half of the box in a different video. Ooh, that's cool. That's pretty cool. Signature card there. Look at that. Two signature cards. Huh. I guess it's just some packs. Just have... Yeah, that's pretty cool. Obviously, printed signature. Um, <laughs> it'll be actually really cool, to be honest, to get a, an actual signed Justin Timberlake card. But, uh, printed signature, that's pretty cool, nonetheless. We got Lance there. And another signature. Maybe they all had signatures. Maybe, maybe I'm missing something. But I don't seem to remember all the packs having signatures. Uh, signature cards in them. And we get a, a Justin sticker card. Very nice. So, guys, two more packs in this video. These are NSYNC. Uh, I'm going to say trading cards, but it's not a trade per se. And now we're getting into more of the signature cards. Nice. Can Justin card there. Signature, signature. Maybe they all had signatures, and I was just... I didn't notice. Let me have a look at some of the base from uh, earlier on. No, they they definitely didn't all have signatures before. Huh. I wonder what's going on there. Why only in this part of the box have we seen cards with signatures? As we get into the last pack here of this opening. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Just something kind of fun. It's a bit random. Uh, we have JC. All the base cards here. So yeah, all these base cards don't have signatures. Uh, JC. And Lance Bass. Sticker card. So I think we got at least one sticker card from each member of the band. I might be wrong. Um, yeah, I think almost. Yeah, so that was kind of... Sorry. Yeah, that was kind of fun, you know. Got some uh, funny cards there. And stay tuned for part two of this opening and more videos. See you guys.